So what's the story behind Stefan Diggs and Crack in the 90s? Because those are two of my favorites. Like those, <laughs> both of those are fucking killer. Were so uh crack in the 90s. So I'll tell our story first. So um we knew that we were doing the title show and we knew that uh Conway was doing the deluxe. We just didn't know if like me and love speaking, you know, speaking of us, we didn't know if we were gonna be on the deluxe. And we we were talking about it a lot, like damn, like yo, if he puts us on the deluxe, like we gonna we gonna be lit, like that would be fire. And one day randomly I get a text. Now his assistant's name is Chad. You know what I'm saying? You may hear him talking about him on like his lives and stuff like that. His name is Chad. Chad texts me and it's a, it's an audio file. This is on a random, like it was, I think it was like a Tuesday at like 11 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. Yo, uh, Conway wants you to write to this. It's for the deluxe. Make sure you get it done. We recording it tomorrow. Like, so instantly when I read the text, I instantly get anxious. I'm like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, because you're like, damn, this is a <laughs> quick turnover. <laughs> right, right. Because it's like, at this point, this was in December. And so at this point, you know, I had been, I had been around and stuff like that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm repping drum work, but it's like, you know, we, had, we hadn't signed any contracts yet. And, yeah. you know, just stuff wasn't in stone yet. Mm-hmm. And so I'm listening to him. I'm like, oh, man. He was like, you know, you and love both going to be on it. So automatically i'm thinking like okay love is gonna be on it and conway is on it i gotta i gotta come out so i think i started writing at like 11 o'clock at night i didn't go to sleep until like five o'clock in the morning you know what i'm saying so it know, shows I, I in the verse it. you kill that verse you kill Word, that verse. thank you thank you um you know i just wanted it to be i wanted it to be ill and so you know we get you know, to the studio and we're recording and, you know, Conway's okay. You know what I'm saying? You go. Cause actually he, he actually wanted to go first. And I said, you know, I'm gonna go. And, um, I got up, I recorded my shit and they, everybody in the room, like, man, what the fuck? Like, bro. And then love gets up. And so she's like, okay, you know what? I gotta, I gotta keep writing. Like she heard my shit. She was like, okay, I'm gonna keep writing. She writes her shit. She spits her shit. And it was just like, bro, like There's yo, so, you just yo, there's she so left many her. bars from you guys in that right. all three of you, but you two especially, you know, like that was a yeah. a good drum work together song. That right, right, killed. right. It embodied like what drum work is going to be. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that was it was like the perfect way to introduce us. I don't know how he thought of that or why, but <laughs> that was like the perfect way to introduce us. And then Rock Marciano killed the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like it was yeah. just a different. It was a different beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. So Are you it was, a gamer? It was really Shout dope. out your uh, Metal Gear Solid bar. Are you a gamer? Yeah, word. Salute, <laughs> salute, salute. I'm actually not even a gamer. I don't even play the game anymore. I got an Xbox, like, S1 or whatever it's called. Yeah, but I don't yeah. even play the game anymore. I um I used to be real into games, and Metal Gear Solid was one of my favorite joints. And I always said, like, you know what I mean? Like, once I get on, you know, Revolver, Revolver Ocelot was going to be one of my aliases because, you know what I'm saying, Revolver's going to jam up. They just keep spitting, and that's how I yeah. am. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, so Stefan Diggs was actually a track that we weren't even planning on doing together. We were in Atlanta, and we were, uh, we had, we were actually going to do um, Title the next day. So this was on that Thursday. And uh, we were sitting there, I think that morning, Conway got up at like nine o'clock in the morning and he was just playing the beat, like literally just playing the beat over. And like, I think he listened to it for like four hours or whatever. He was trying to like write and it was just playing. And, you know, you get to a point and say, bro, I'm a rapper. I'm about to uh, actually write some shit to this. And hopefully if he fucks with it, I can put it on here. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, he's he's doing his thing, doing his thing. And then finally he got like his verse together. And uh, and I'm not saying like it took him a long ass time, but the beat was just playing all morning. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, he's spitting his verse and shit. I see him over in the corner. I'm like, yo, bro, I got a hook for this joint. You know what I mean, yo, listen real quick. And so he, you know what I mean? I spin a fly elegance. Uh, 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 and I'm seeing him as I'm as I'm rapping it for him. He's like, yo, that's yeah, that's just on high. He was like, yo, I'm gonna record my shit, record that after that. So you know, I go, we we recorded, we in the living room, recorded that shit. And, uh, you know, we listened to it afterwards. I put some ad-libs on. He was like, yeah, this shit is fire. He was like, yeah, you on this? Like, bet. So that was kind of how it came together. It wasn't, I wasn't even supposed to be on the song. It just came together that way. You know what I mean?